Once you present it to your doctor for treatment of the ulcer, there are many approaches the doctor will take depending on the staging of your ulcer. There, the first thing that needs to be done is the ulcer needs to be assessed for the possibility of infection. The infection could be in the skin in a mild form, which, which would include a little bit of redness around the side of the wound, some drainage, and not having the ulcer, excuse me, having the ulcer have a shallow depth. By shallow depth, I mean you don't see anything exposed in the bottom of the wound site, which would include um, bone or tendon potentially in some cases. So then the next step is to, for the doctor to clean the ulceration. Once he's sure there's no infection, you also want to begin to remove the pressure that caused the ulceration in the first place. You will do this by wearing a special boot after you leave the doctor's office, possibly crutches or maybe in some cases even a cast. The other way to remove pressure is to remove the excess callus buildup that surrounds the wound site. By doing this, two things are accomplished. The first is the callus is removed, which helps remove some of the pressure to the wound bed itself. Next, it also makes the wound bleed typically. People are often afraid when they first present or show up at the doctor's office with an ulceration that the doctor's making the wound site bleed that scares them. They think blood is bad. In actuality, that's, it's stimulating your body to help it heal the wound site. This recreates a new wound for, your, for, for a chronic wound which is not progressed to heal on its own and it allows your body's growth factors to then show up in the wound bed to help it to heal. Next, he'll apply a variety of dressing types depending on what, what exactly is going on with the wound. If there's some local infections, oftentimes we'll use antibiotic ointments, silver dressings, uh, things that will control, help control the infection and give your body the chance to heal. Uh, you can also use different types of skin grafts to help heal the wound site. Uh, there's different ointments, a variety of ointments depending on what the body is missing to help it heal this wound site. But the actual key is getting the pressure off in almost every case. The other uh, tip or the thing that the doctor will be assessing would be your blood flow. Many diabetics have reduced blood flow to all or part of the foot and that will be one of the first things your doctor checks as well. He will check to see if you have, if he can feel your pulses in your feet and he will also check what's called capillary fill time which is when he presses on the tips of your toes and looks for the skin to turn white and then also looks to see how quickly it turns back to its, its regular skin color. This gives you a very good idea of how much blood flow is actually getting to your foot. If you don't have enough blood flow for, in your foot to heal the wound site, then your doctor will most likely refer you to see a vascular surgeon, which will help you through a variety of means to, to heal the ulceration site by restoring your blood flow back to your foot again.